hello guys welcome back welcome back again to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you um a boom and crash strategy okay so i want to show you guys a boom and crash strategy but first let's look at the tree which i took here so you can see this this is 751 seconds all right so i and my team actually took this trade so this is let me just show you something all right settings so this was um our first target okay and the funny thing is it just smashed all right so um all right so have you seen it see this now from here to here first target just smashed guys so um waiting for our target two to be smashed all right and then we have this crash 1000 we have this boom 1000 trade here yeah? i entered it with the indicator all right i entered it with the indicator sorry and i felt asleep guys i fell asleep so i entered this with the indicator and i fell asleep I look for a way to insert the footage of me actually entering the street. So I just insected, okay, because I actually did take the trade. So but I'm just gonna look for a way to actually close it out. Alright. So um and then there's this crash one thousand that okay, yeah, there's this crash one thousand that I and the team actually took. So um it's actually playing out nicely and we have two tp we have a tp1 and our tp2 so um right now it's just we're just gonna let it play out okay so but i'm not too comfortable with this fractals on my chat so uh, it's making my chat look weird yep so i don't have fractals i think i'd rather have a moving average yeah something like moving average period 12 11 yeah exponential let me put the move brilliant color yeah right it's brilliant than, than the other one so right here let's go to the one minute time frame so um this trade the crash 1000 trade that i took is not actually with this strategy okay it's just with a strategy which i teach okay and i've actually showed it here on this youtube channel if you care to find it you can just find it guys it's just simple so right here you can clearly see all right you can clearly see that this is actually although it's gonna sell yeah i know that so but putting this mark this here this is a level okay more like a support level and then now what happens see how the market came to that area yeah so your goal is is to mark out those levels those key levels or those key areas in the market all right wait for the market to actually get there when it gets there all right upon the market gets into the buy zone all right and then once this crossover happens so now you can see here now at some point yeah at, at some point this was actually showing yeah let me try to adjust it at some point the market was here when the market was here you look for that crossover then you actually buy to the upside so here again you can clearly see that you can clearly see that what happened market was what at the buy zone and then there was a crossover of what the moving average okay on the screen you actually take your your buys from here all right so you see how that played out so um here again you have the same thing okay you keep doing the same thing over and over again okay and i know that is kind of boring so the market gets toward your buy zone all right the market gets to your buy zone 
And upon crossover of what the moving average, what do you do? You take your bias. Take your bias. So let's look at a few more examples. So looking at this here, you can clearly see that the market dipped into the buy zone. And upon crossover of the moving average, you just take your bias from. So here we have another one. Upon crossover of the moving average, you take your bias from. So it's just that simple. It's just a simple strategy, guys. So we have the market being on our buy zone. And then upon crossover of the moving average, you take your buys. So basically, you just keep doing the same thing over and over again, guys. So we have the market being on a buy zone. We have a crossover of the moving average. Okay, on the main chart. So you can take your buys. So now let's look at the boom 1000. So like I said, so I entered a sell on boom 1000. I'm actually still holding it because I will close it shut door. And also insect the footage of me actually taking that trade. So you see, the thing is, it's simple. I entered the market actually at this area here. Okay. You can clearly see here, right? The market was at the sell zone. Right, and upon this crossover, I actually entered it. All right, so I slept off. I was supposed to have closed ever since. So I'm just waking up. So I decided to use this opportunity to make the video. All right, so let me just delete those um, arrows on the chart here. Yeah. So the market gets to what? The sell zone. It gets to the sell zone here. Yeah. Wait for the moving average crossover on the main chart. So as it, as soon as it does what crossover, you take yourselves. All right. Same thing here. See. Um, the market gets to. Market gets to the sell zone. Okay. As soon as there's a crossover, you take your what yourselves. You make money, guys. You can actually stick to ten twenty candles. All right. So same thing here, market gets to, as soon as the market hits the sell zone, all right? You look for a moving average crossover, you take your sales, 10, 20 candles. Just keep doing it, okay, till it becomes a habit, guys. Market gets to the sell zone, crossover, all right? You take your sales. So simply, that is it, guys, that is it. So the market gets to the sell zone, Cross market gets the sell zone right here, right? As soon as there's a moving average crossover, you take your sales. So it's simply you doing the same thing over and over and over again. So you see, sell zone, moving average crossover, you take your sales. So that's that. Please, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that like button and subscribe to this youtube channel for more and more wonderful videos like this so now let me give you guys a setting moving average we have a period of 11 shift to zero method exponential applied to close all right so style should be any color of your choice and this should be maxed out okay so the next indicator we are going to look at now uh, is just to click the window plus button all right at the latest strange decks this is trading the period nine apply to close level we have the 90 and the 10 forget about the zeros those are not important 90 and the 10 all right you can put a description for buy and sell so from 10 you're looking at buying from 90 you're looking to sell and then the style is uh max style for pixel this style color should be actually be um the color if you are using a black background it should be white okay so when you're done you just click on what done all right the next indicator we're looking at is the macd for the macd we have fast ema 12 slow ema 26 macd sma 9 apply to close then the main should tally with what the color of your background and then the signal should be any color of your choice 
So that's that. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you.